Hello everyone and welcome to this week's car review. This week we're doing an F-150, but it's not just an F-150. It's the F-150 King Rant Edition 2020. So it is pretty special, it has some cool features you guys might want to see. And I thought it was interesting, so I thought you guys might think it was interesting. So hopefully uh, you guys find it interesting. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is a full walk around. And as you can see, you know, it's basically just like a standard F-150. Doesn't really look like anything special, except it does have, you know, the special decals right there that say King Ranch on it. Um, other than that, you know, it's a short bed. It's kind of standard. It doesn't look super impressive unless you like the way Ford looks. I'm not a huge Ford fan, but I am gonna admit the interior is very nice, which is what won me over. But other than that, uh, nothing really special. It doesn't look like a Raptor, which is my favorite looking Ford pickup, I'm sure, like everybody else. But that's pretty much a walk around of the exterior. All right, so I decided to move the truck more into the shade. That way I can get a better view of the interior without all the glare and everything. So the first thing you know is walking up. You got the exterior keypad to get in if you forget your key or whatever. But go ahead and open the door. And the first thing that happens is the a uh, runner comes out, which is really nice help get in. So you go look at the door. Looks nice. You know, you got the fake wood, whatever this is right here, coming down the wall and that. With like the brown two-tone interior as you can see right here. And these seats do look very nice in my opinion. I think they're really pretty. I know some people don't like the, the tan farmly color, but I really enjoy it. And you got the nice pretty logo, uh, the uh, King Ranch right there in each seat and in the center console and in the back seats right there, full focus right there. So that's nice. So going in and getting in now, you can see the car is on. And you have a nice digital dash, which is really nice. You can uh, do all kinds of settings and change it where you want, but that's kind of how I have it right now. You have a really user-friendly interface. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the AC so it's not too loud. You have a really nice, friendly user interface right here. Um, for you have your audio. It does have Bang & Olufsen speakers. So that's why you know, the car sounds really good, but I'm going to turn that off. But you got Sirius XM, you got everything, you got Nav. Um, if you go over to settings too, you have something really cool. If you scroll all the way over, you have you go your seats option and you have massaging seats, which is, you know, it's pretty nice. It's not uh, super over the top because it's not really powerful. It doesn't really feel that great, but it's kind of a cool little feature that kind of breaks up, you know, the monotonous driving. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much the front center console. You just got, you know, a lot of storage in here. That's about it. You know, your standard start start your engine and then your auto start and stop at stoplights. You can turn that off and on here and your traction control. And then it does have lane assist where it just kind of beeps at you if you go outside the lines. It kind of just vibrates the wheel. Um, it is four-wheel drive, obviously, as you can see right here. If it will focus and it's not going to, that's okay. But that's your four-wheel drive knob and everything else is down here. You do have heated and cooled seats right now. As you can see, the... Uh, cooling seats on those are the heated seats and then you got your you know charging ports and stuff like that so let's go ahead and jump into the back seat now so now getting into the back seat you can see it's pretty much the same layout you got the nice king ranch floor logo there too but the big thing that stands out is how big these back seats are i'm 6'2 and there's i mean like you can't even touch it with your fingers like there's a lot of room back here as you can see, it's huge. You got some cool options here. You do have rear heated seats. You know, you got your two USB ports and your 110 port right there, so that's nice. You know, but other than that, uh, it's just it's just a really spacious and nice truck. You know, I definitely would buy one. It would be between this and the Dodge, but I think I would still go with Dodge because I think the exterior looks better and the interior is nice because you can get that you know, that 20 plus inch screen right down the middle right there. So Ford will probably come out with that pretty soon. But until then, you know, this truck is really nice and I, I would daily drive it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the driving portion. So I guys wanna, I wanna show you how quick this EcoBoost engine is. You can see right here, we'll go ahead and zero, we'll floor it. And from that little speed test, you can see it is a pretty quick truck. You know, I'm actually pretty impressed. I have a 
a 435 BMW and you know what? It might be able to keep pace with it a little bit. Maybe not quite as quick, but it'll be able to keep pace for sure. So that's that's pretty cool. So one thing I'm really impressed with is how quiet the cab is. I'm just like slowly driving along here and you can't hear anything. And though I'm not uh, deafening the sound after by editing it, this is really what it's like. Can't hear absolutely anything. I took my friends out fishing the other day and they were all impressed with the truck overall. And the other thing, that is also surprising is a turn radius is very good in this truck. It's almost as good as, you know, my uh, little BMW. So that's that's also impressive for the size. They did, Ford did a good job engineering this truck and that's impressive. And my dad was actually, the other day, was towing a trailer with uh, three Raptor 700s on it, you know, quads over Sierra Nevada's, Sierra Nevada's to Reno. And he said it felt like there was no trailer at all so that's that's also really nice so the eco boost was i was a little skeptical about it about it would be good at towing and it definitely is so that's a good sign to see too so it looks like ford did a good job too because of the gas mileage that you get when you're not towing so you know that's impressive i think overall it trucks great and if you ever wanted one i would definitely recommend it you know for the week i've been driving it but other than that i mean that's about it and the in-depth review i don't have much other to say maybe i'll try a little burnout right here actually and i'll see if we can get the tires to spin all right we got window down we got traction control off as you can see down there now push the brake down give it a little gas yeah not bad not bad actually kind of ran out of room there but got a little tire spin i guess some outside footage of the the wheel spinach but unfortunately i can't because i'm the only person right now and i have my tripod at my house so otherwise the sound's just gonna have to do it to prove it that i did do it so anyway let's uh go ahead and go back home and see if anything else to talk about this truck so one thing i didn't talk about was the backup camera so it's actually pretty nice uh, with the features that is but i thought they could have done a little bit better job with the screen like it's not really you know high def it's just kind of like i don't know i'd call it like 480 but uh, they do have a nice feature where you can push right here for a trailer hitch, you get up close, you can really see what you're doing. You can kind of see the angle that you're getting the view right here with that, with that dark spot. But other than that, you get um, nice little lines. You can't really, I don't know if you can see those, that tell you where your truck's actually headed to. Oh, there you go, the white lines that pop out right there. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, they did a really good job except for the definition. But, I mean, it's still useful, obviously, but other cars are definitely better. But anyways, that's pretty much the end overall. It was a great truck for the week. I really enjoyed it. And if you guys were considering about getting a 2020 King Ranch F-150, as you can see right there, the little symbol, I would give it a thumbs up. Highly recommend.